RNC. Um, as Corporal Rivera mentioned, my name is Corporal Rivera Dowds. Um, one of the lead, one of the lead trainers for our Grenadiers and Less Lethal teams. They're going to be operating at the uh, RNC convention. Grenadiers and Less Lethal operators. Those are specially trained folks that are going to carry specialty munitions and delivery systems to deal with that very, very small percentage of folks that are going to be lawbreakers and anarchists at this event. Hopefully, we're going to be like the Maytag repairmen. We're going to be sitting alone in a room with nothing to do but read Fifty Shades of Grey again. <laughs> Several other women are going to be turning very red at this point. Um, just in there with nothing to do. That's what we would hope happens. Unfortunately, the reality is, is that there's going to be that small percentage of people that are going to be looking to cause problems, and we're going to have to deal with that. That's where we come into play. Our job is to help protect the officers that are out there, as well as those peaceful protesters that are out there from that small percentage of lawbreakers and anarchists that could be out there endangering people, causing property damage, and other things like that. So our job is to come out there and have those specialty tools available, if necessary, to deploy to stop their very aggressive actions. And just like anything else that we do in law enforcement, we have a variety of responses, a variety of things that we can use. Uh, we've got things that are very mild that we may use to cause people to stop doing what they're doing. And we've got some things that um, are maybe perhaps a, a little bit more assertive in encouraging people to stop doing what they're doing. So we've got kind of a variety of different tools that are out there. And we brought a few of them up here so that uh, if on break or whatever you'd like to take a look at them or, or uh, know a little bit more about them, we'll be happy to do that. Uh, but that's primarily our job whenever we're out there is just to provide that overwatch, that special protection for those folks. So if you see gas or smoke being thrown or you see people carrying things that look like they've just stepped out of a, a science fiction movie, uh, that's probably going to be one of our folks and they're out there just to provide that extra level of protection. Again, as you'll notice with the uh, crowd management group, we've got kind of a layered approach to things. We rely that it. Most of the time things are going to be peaceful. That's where those folks in just the regular khakis walking around are going to be. We realize that some things may escalate. We may get those bikes in there to move them around. We realize that things may escalate a little bit more. Now we've got to put officers in that uh, turtle gear, so to speak, to help deal with the problem. But now whenever it gets to the point that, that turtle gear may not be enough, that's whenever we'd step in at that point and start using some of the specialty toys that we have to deal with those problems. So that's what we're all about. That's what we be out there doing. And you may see us out there even just walking around, even with people in regular, uh, regular soft gear, so to speak, carrying some of these munitions and delivery systems just because we know that things can suddenly go bad at any point and we may have to respond to it in that instant. So if you see us walking around with that stuff, it's not that we're expecting problems. We just want to be prepared in case there is a problem so it doesn't become a bigger problem. And that's what we're up there for. Thank you, sir. If you notice